teacher for today. Okay, children, let's all stand and we will pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful morning. We ask for your guidance, protection, and blessing. Help us to understand our new lesson for today and that we may do only the things that are acceptable unto you. We ask all these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Before we start, always remember our rules and regulation. Rule number one, listen when your teacher is talking. Rule number two, respect others, respect yourself, and respect your school. Understood? Okay. So this time, children, Mom Joy will give you an exercise. But don't be afraid because it is not recorded. So as we can see, there is a column A and column B. All we need to do is match column A to column B. But children, read the question first before we answer. So who wants to go first? Yes, Catherine. Okay, very good. Roots. Second one is Jenny. Okay, Tim. Third one. Okay, Gerald. Okay, flowers. Number four. Yes, Ray. Okay, leaves. Number five. Yes, Danny. Okay, very good. Fruit. So, this time, children, we will read it together so that we can understand it better. So, number one, roots are the most and underground part of a plant. Number two, steam in the part of the plant which is found above the ground. Number three, flowers are the most beautiful and colorful part of a plant. They are the reproductive part of a plant. Number four, leaves are the most important part of a plant. They contain chlorophyll that helps the plants to prepare their food using sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. Number five, fruit are the main of flowering plant. It is matured ovary that develops after fertilization. Okay, class, understood? Okay, very good. Okay, class, this time, we have a short review about what we discussed yesterday. So, may I ask what we discussed about yesterday? Okay, yes, Danny. Okay, parts of a plant. So, this time, class, my Joy will show you a different pictures and let us identify whether they belong to steam, fruits, leaves, flowers, or fruits. So, who wants to go first? Yes, Marga. Apple. Okay, fruits. Gomamela. Okay, flowers. Watermelon. Okay, fruits. Orange. Okay, fruits. Banana. Okay, fruits. Guava. Okay, fruits. Sunflower. Okay, flowers. Rose. Okay, flowers. Last one, lettuce. Okay, leaves. Very good. So this time, class, I am going to show you a picture. So what can you say about the picture? Yes, Jenny. Okay, very good. This is part of a flower. So have you ever wondered how plants produce their foods? Okay, so class, there are two steps on how plants produce fruits. So fruits are the mature and ripened ovaries of a flowers. So the first step is fruit grow in fertilization of a carpel. Then a fruit arises from a series of transformation that occurs during the development of the fertilized carpel, resulting in the ovary of flower maturing and repining. Okay, this time class, we have a group activity. So are you excited? Okay, very good. So our class will be divided into two groups. So all we need to do is to count one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, understood? Okay, very good. So start. One, two, one, two, 
one, two, one, two. Okay, so all one here and all two here. So please group one, choose your leader and group two, choose your leader two. So group one, please listen because this is your instruction and your work. So on a construction paper, draw a flower with its parts, then label the male and female parts. Understood? Okay, very good. So group two, please pay attention because I will give your instruction. So group two, find the flowering plants outside then identify each levels. Write two to three sentences only. Understood? So do you have any questions? Okay, none. So you can start now. But class, I will give you five minutes to finish your works. Understood? Okay, very good. Okay, class, time's up. Pass your works now. Okay, please gather, leader. Please gather. Okay, okay, okay. So, class, I will be the one to check your works and I will return it by tomorrow. Understood? Okay, very good. Now, let's proceed to our main discussion. But before that, class, please fix yourself, fix your chairs, and I will encourage everyone to please get your science notebook and take the notes because afterwards we have a short quiz. So this time, we are going to discuss about male reproductive organ of the flower and female reproductive organ of a flower. So there are plants that reproduce using ancestry part of a flower. It is where the reproductive organ of the plant is located. The stamen and the pistil. So the stamen is the male reproductive organ of the flower which consists of two part which is filament and anther. So while pistil is the female reproductive organ of a flower consists of three part which is stegma, a sty and an ovaries. So as we can see here class, this is a male reproductive organ and female reproductive organ. So here is the anther, filament and petal. So while the female reproductive organ are stigma, style, ovary, and receptacle. So the stigma we can see here is the, the green pigment here. The longest green pigment. And then the style is the tube of stigma. So meaning class, the main function of female part of the flower and male part of the flower is to helping in the sexual reproduction of plants. And also they are stimulating pollination in the plants and fertilization of ovule. So this is ovule. The ovule is the pink one. So later on, we discuss about the function of the parts of female and male reproductive parts of a flowers. So as we can see in the board class, there are table 1 and table 2. So in table 1, description and function of different parts of the male part of the flower. So here class, we discuss about their parts, description and function of male part of the flower. So first part is stamen. So when you say stamen, the male part of flower and is scientifically known as androcilium, it is further consists of two parts which is anther and filament. So class, the main function of stamen is to produce pollen grains which house gametes or six cells necessary for reproduction. The second part is anther. So anther is the yellowish sac-like structure. So this is the anther. So the main function of anther is produces and storing the pollens. Third part is the filament. So as we can see here class, filament is a slender thread like that support the anther. So as we can see here, this is the like a 
tube. So, the main function of filament is to hold the anther up. So, this is the filament and this is the anther. Okay, class. Before we proceed to female reproductive organ, I have a question. So, a slender thread-like structure that support the anther. What is it? Yes, Jessica. Okay, very good. Filament. Okay, class. Let's proceed to table 2. The description and function of different parts of female reproductive organs. So, here, class, we will discuss about the parts, description, and function of different parts of female reproductive organs. So, first part is pistil. So, pistil, the female part of flower and forms the innermost part of the flower, the ovary, stigma, and the style together make the pistil. So, the main function of pistil class is to produce ovule. Other function is the important of pistil include it is the female reproductive part of the flower. Second one, it is to receive pollen and helps in fertilization process. So, as we can see here, class, this is the pistil. So, the pistil is the part of female reproductive organ. So, the second part of female reproductive organ is the style. So, the style of flower is the stalk that supports the stigma and connects it to the ovary. So, as we can see, this is the style. So, one major function of the style is to assist with fertilization by being the location where pollen tubes travel to deliver sperm cells to the egg cells. So, here we go. This is the style like a tube. So, meaning class, style is the responsible in helping and delivering sperm cell to egg cell. So, the third part is the ovary. So, ovary, a ductless reproductive gland holding ovule seed formation takes place in the ovule. So, meaning class that ovary is the responsible in holding the ovules. So, the main function of ovary is to contain ovules which develop into seed upon fertilization. So, mini class, ovary is holding the ovules and the, also the seeds after the fertilization or during the fertilization. So, the last part of female reproductive organ is the stigma. So, the stigma is the topmost part of the flower. So, as we can see here, class, this is the stigma on the green top of the flower. So, the main function of stigma is often set on the top of the ovary and hold the style up to receive pollen. Then, allows the pollen to be transferred to the ovule to fertilize and can create a seed. So, meaning class, stigma is the responsible to receive pollen and afterwards, the stigma allows the pollen to be transferred to the ovule. So, as we can see, this this is the ovule. Okay, class understood? Okay, very good. So, do you have any question? Or do you have something to share in the class? Okay, class, don't be shy. Okay, none. So, if none, Mom Joy have a question for you. What is reproduction? Yes, Kathleen. Okay, very good. So, reproduction is the act or process of reproducing. Second question, what are the female parts of the flower? Yes, John Ray. Okay, very good. Pistel, style, ovary, and stigma. In this time of pandemic, how do you take care of your reproductive system? Yes, Mark. Okay, having a regular exercise. What else? Okay, yes, John Ray. Okay, very good. Eat fruits and vegetables. What else? Yes, Jenny. Okay, very good. Take medicines or vitamins. What else? Yes, James. Okay, very good. Having enough sleep. So, last question. What are the four 
essential ingredients for plants to produce food. Yes, Marky. Okay, very good. Carbon, hydrogen, water, and nitrogen. Okay, class, very good. Can you please give five claps in ourselves. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, very good, class. So, all your answers are correct. Okay, class, Mom Joy will show you a picture and let us identify the parts of the flower and choose the correct answer below. So, who wants to go first? Yes, Deji. Okay, very good. Oh, Vary, number two. Yes, Marga. Okay, Style, number three. Yes, Jane. Okay, very good. Stegma, number four. Yes, Maki. Okay, very good. Estelle, number five. Yes, John Mark. Okay, very good. Antir, number six. Okay, Marjol. Okay, very good. Philamin, number seven. Yes, Bea. Okay, very good. Stame, number eight. Yes, Sophia. Okay, very good. Petal, number nine. Okay, Lestia. Okay, very good. Sipa, number ten. Okay, yes, Juana. Okay, very good. Oviol. Last one more. Okay, yes, Grace. Okay, very good. Recep, Takol. Okay, class, very good. So, let's ask, give five claps to ourselves. One, two, three, four, five. Very good, class. This time, class, we will having a short quiz, but I want everybody to put down your things and only open you can see your disc. Understood? Okay, very good. So, may I see your bopan? Okay, very good. So, this time, class, I will read the direction. So, read each item carefully. Insert the letter of the correct answer. So, this time, I have here a test paper. So, please distribute. Okay, distribute. Okay, distribute. Okay, very good. So, all of you have a test paper now? Okay, very good. So, class, I will give you five minutes to finish your test. Understood? Okay, very good. So class, you can start now. Okay, class, time's up. So, please exchange your paper to your seatmate. So, this time, class, we will check your work. So, who wants to read and answer question number one? Yes, Jenny. Okay, which of the following is the female part of the flower? Okay, very good. Pistel. So, number two, yes, Mark? It contains the female gamut. Okay, very good. Ovary. Number three? Yes, Bea. A long stalk that support the stigma. Okay, very good. Style number four? A female reproductive system. Yes, John Ray. Okay, very good. Salmon. Number five? Top female part of a flower. Yes, James. Okay, very good. Stigma. Okay, class, you can return the paper now. And this time, I will record your score. So, please take your score. Bea. Okay, five. James. Five. Jenny. Four. John Ray. Five. Mark. Five. Okay, Marga. Four. Okay, class, very good because you almost got the highest score. Before we end class, I will give you an assignment. So, who wants you to read our direction? Yes, Marga. Okay, very good. So, this time, class, I will read the direction again so that you can understand it better. So, plants have five parts. Roots, leaves, flowers, steam, and fruits. So, based on our discussion today and your own knowledge, how reproductive parts of the plants can help in our life. Write three to five sentences only. Understood? So, do you have any question or clarification, class? Yes, Marga. Okay, very good. So, Marga said when it the deadline. So, class, you can pass it by next week. So, understood? Okay, none. So, if none, class, please arrange the chairs and get your things and you can go now, class. Bye, class.